Hello, I'm Joseph Lenashki, photographic storyteller, educator, and aperture expert. I travel the world from my clients, shooting everything from portraits to concerts, weddings to lifestyle, and commercial to corporate. I also work with schools around the globe, helping them to integrate photography into their curriculum and teaching them how to use the camera as a learning tool. And finally, I run the website ApertureExpert.com and host the Aperture Expert podcast. As the former technical marketing manager for professional applications at Apple, including Aperture, of course, I come with a unique and deep insight into the application. In this course, I'm going to show you how the pros manage, edit, and output tens of thousands of files per year. In the import section, we'll lay down several rules and guidelines on organizing and naming your photos, ensuring that they have the necessary metadata and structure so you can find them years from now. In ratings, we'll look at a method to get through hundreds of photos quickly and consistently, identifying the best photos for enhancement. In enhancement and retouching, we'll learn how to correct exposure, apply color corrections and enhancements, and even batch retouch images, all in record time. And when it comes time to show off your best, the online sharing, slideshows, and books section will ensure your work doesn't languish unseen on your hard drive. Sharing services like Flickr are built in, one button accessible from Aperture. But through third-party plugins, we can just as easily publish to services like SmugMug. And if you want to watermark your photos, we'll show you how to build and apply those too. Aperture 3 was designed for the professional photographer and serious amateur alike. If you want to learn to work like the pros, you've come to the right place. The accompanying Aperture library contains the sample files I'll be using in these videos, so you can follow along on your own if you like, and also see the before and after for each image, just in case yours doesn't come out quite as expected. I hope you enjoy learning from these videos as much as I've enjoyed making them. And if you find yourself with any questions after this training, please feel free to drop me a line at ApertureExpert.com in the user forums.